so the second day of release and today I've been fasting for two days and it's been pretty challenging. Would you share a little bit about your experience of working with the energy of these first few days? You say it's release. Um, how has that manifested for you? Create the vibrations to bring stuff to the surface, learn how to transform that inside of myself, and almost automatically that translates into my external world. And it, it is absolutely the most effective practice that I have learned. Again and again and again, I find that when I use and work with this energy, I find out that it's something inside of me that's creating that external situation. When I transform that, when I work that on that inside of me during my meditation, it has such a profound transformation that it really is gone. I usually get tested afterwards to make sure that, you know, there's no remnants, like the universe it's like, oh, you know, you think you've worked this out? Well, let's test that. But, you know, what? So, we, so, so some of that happens, but I've taken so many courses. I've trained to be a coach for so many years and nothing has made such a transformative difference in my experience of myself and others than this work. So, how is working with this release energy through these three days, through chanting the text, through the goddess, different from just like recognizing within oneself and saying, oh, you know, this is really my own personal problem, not these other people, I need to work on it. Like, We can intellectually know that it's us and not another person. And that's a good first step. We're dealing with energy here and the intellect is only so powerful as to transform our experience of other people and of ourself. And it does work to some extent, but if there's things that are deeper, we need a deeper extraction. And to get to those deeper levels, we have to get into the heart, reaching the soul, reaching that source of consciousness to start to dig up those old seeds that have been there for a very long time and plant new ones and and through meditation we, we can do that so are these release days or is this practice is it ever like fun or is it always yeah. like hard the release days well i don't i'm not a surface kind of person so for me when i do a release day i want to go hard i want to get deep i want to get to the things that are holding me back that's me that's what i that's what i want to do once you're done with the first three days, then we're going to get into goal setting and we're going to get into planting new seeds and we're going to get into the fun and the joy to create a life we want and we that we love. And all of a sudden we have this power and energy to start to create the things that we want and not just be to at the effect of all of our old decisions and all of our old behaviors. Like, let's root those things out let's pull out the weeds let's plant new pl flowers let's plant new things to create a really beautiful life that's what this nine days is about it's just that right now in this release stage this is where we're at we're <laughs> we're dealing with the you know we gotta we gotta prepare the soil first so not fun <laughs> well it depends on your definition of fun i find i think this is fun it's day three of release. This is the final day of the release portion of these nine nights. I chanted my two and a half hour text in the morning. It was really beautiful. The partial fast is starting to get easier today. I love making art of my food when I'm fasting. It makes each meal more exciting and every bite more savory. I've been trying my hand at stop motion video. What do you think? The big finale for the day is the fire ceremony in the evening. After establishing the sacred fire, I will offer the confusion and fear that I acknowledged at the start of these three days. I love fire ceremonies. They are my favorite part. There is something so mystical and ancient about a fire. It is totally mesmerizing. I feel connected to the fire as if there is no one else but the two of us in an energetic dance. Tomorrow we're going to start the three days of refine and I'm really excited for what's going to come next. Namaste.